welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I'm gonna film a Will I Buy It video and I haven't filmed one of these in a while. I know there's some people that like to film them weekly, obviously Samantha March, she created the series and I've seen so many pop up on the community playlist. If you guys didn't know, she did create a community playlist so if you haven't checked it out, and you love to binge watch these videos, I will link it down in the description box. Also, if you are a Will I Buy It series content creator, you should email her because she can add you and then you'll be able to add your videos, which is super cool because obviously some of the creators on there have way more subscribers than some of the more small creators, i.e. me. And so, you know, somebody might find your channel that way and it could be really cool. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a fun idea. I think she did a really good job with that. But yeah, I haven't filmed a Will I Buy It video in forever. I'm so pumped because there are so many new makeup releases that I want to chat to you guys about, especially holidays. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. The only thing I really, really, really wanted to talk to you guys that I don't think Trend Mood talks about, because she doesn't really feature a lot of indie brands, is, let me think here. Okay, the one thing for sure I wanted to talk about is Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace is a brand I've talked about before. I have a bunch of her single shadows, and they are actually coming out with a eyeshadow palette. They said their new palette is 15 pans and is releasing hopefully November 10th. Obviously, November 10th has come and gone. I think they were affected by the California fires, so definitely just keep an eye out on their Instagram. And $52, and each pan will be 27 grams, so it's a full-size pan. I said pan and pam and god. Okay, so yeah, $52, 15 pan palette. I'm excited to see it all come together. Sydney Grace has never done an eyeshadow palette before. They only do like collections. So you can kind of reorganize it in a Z palette. So kind of exciting. I don't know. I saw the shades and they're really not like my vibes. Like you know how you see a palette and it's like, oh my God, I love it. But I feel like with this one, it's going to come down to how they arrange it in the palette. It might actually appeal to me when I see it laid out in the palette. So I'm very, very curious about that. And I'm sure you guys have already even probably heard about it because if you watch my channel, you probably already are subscribed to a lot of the YouTubers I watch that have already discussed this to death. So moving on, the next brand I don't think Trend Mood will talk about. Well, sometimes Trend Mood talks about this brand, so it could go either way, but they just sneak peek their holiday palette or one of their holiday palettes. What did they say? Holiday palette reveal. This is Christmas morning, we will have three highlighters, four liquid lipsticks, also one loose highlighter. Who is loving this? And this freaking palette is so adorable. Like, I love it. It's so, like, almost basic with the green and then the shimmer green and then the milk and cookies and the pajamas and the stocking. Like, it's so, like, Christmas. But I kind of love it. It gives me a little bit of the Pat McGrath Bronze Temptation palette vibe. But I still think it's so cute, so I'm most likely going to pick that up. They also sneak peeked this thing called Juicy Olive, and I'm like really curious to see what that palette is about. They haven't said anything else about it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to regret telling you guys this, but they are going to have a kick-ass Black Friday sale. I am so inch like excited. Like I really hope that I don't miss the sale because... They are, I actually screenshotted it, but it looks like, did they take the post down for their Black Friday? Because they are going to fully restock their online store. And yeah, they just had some amazing deals that they had mentioned in their stories or something like that. So if I can find that screenshot, I will put it here for you guys so you can also shop those deals. But I had my eye on so many of their single shadows and I've literally added uh, mint, there's a shade called mint something. It's beautiful. I've talked about it on my Will I Buy It series before. I've added that thing to my cart and closed the browser so many times. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can score some of their products. I am not planning on buying anything else Black Friday. We'll see. Not going to promise anyone anything, but so far there's nothing that I want that bad. <laughs> 
but you know the sales always get me so we'll see we'll see how it goes but I'm excited for I'm really excited for um, give me Lowe's Black Friday okay so let's see here okay so I was pretty shocked to see this on trend mood but Laura Lee Los Angeles is coming out with a holiday collection it's called Sleigh Bell and yeah I'm just surprised wow like She's back. I um, think I like maybe, I didn't block Laura Lee, but on YouTube you can do a thing where it's like you're no longer interested in the content so they won't show you anything or recommend the channel to you. So I don't keep up with any of her stuff. And yeah, I mean, the palette kind of gives me colored rain vibes from those like six pan palettes they did. I'll put the one that it reminds me of the most up so you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about. But it's a $19 palette. She's doing some liquid lipsticks. Uh, she's got some loose highlighters. I feel like so many brands are doing such similar products. They're all starting to look the same. Like these all look like they could have come from like the ColourPop factory. So like I don't know. I'm not saying it did. But it's like... It's just like a little, I know the makeup fatigue is getting to everyone. There's been so many like low buys and no buys announced uh, for 2019 already. And I predict, you know, that that trend is definitely going to continue. I'm just trying to figure out like what I'm going to do. I definitely know I can't do a no buy. I know I can't do a no buy. And so I've been toying with the idea of a low buy I just watched Angelica's video this morning and she talked about how she's going to buy three items a month and she's doing that counting like all refills and things like that, which I think is a practical amount. There's a lot of things I have backups of. At some point um, in the next couple of weeks, I want to go through my entire makeup collection, kind of see what I have dupes of, especially when it comes to skincare and stuff, sort all of that. I want to go through all of my samples. I've been hoarding samples for way too long. Um, would you guys be interested if I just gave away a box filled with samples? Like, is that weird to do? I would love to just, you know, have it go to a good home because I get samples. I've actually stopped ordering samples from Sephora when I place orders now because it's just a waste. Um, so let me know about that down in the comments. But yeah, I have like some ideas in mind as far as what I want to do for 2019. Um, but yeah, it's just been so interesting to see everyone announce like low buys and no buys. So you guys will have to give me your thoughts on that down below as well. Okay, so Black Friday. This is a kick-ass deal. So Anastasia is doing a vault kind of thing. And they're going to give you the Modern Renaissance, the Soft Glam, the Subculture, and the Prism. All for 90 bucks, which is an insane deal. Like, what does that make each palette? Like, hold on. Let me do some math. 90 divided by 4. 22 bucks a palette. That's insane. You should just buy that and, like, give it to all your friends. Like give each friend a palette and keep one for yourself like now that's the holiday spirit <laughs> so I think that's a good deal I love soft glam and modern renaissance subculture and prism I returned subculture back to Anastasia because I they allowed you to do that because so many people complained about the formula and then the prism I sold on my Poshmark because I wasn't getting any use out of it so yeah but those two neutral palettes are bomb though so KKW's holiday collection is coming out November 23rd, noon Pacific Standard Time. She's got a whole set for $150. You can get a six-pan shadow palette, mascara, lashes, blush, highlighter, two lipsticks, lip gloss, lip, uh, lip liner, and an eyeliner. So that doesn't seem horrible, but I don't know. Something about this palette. I know my friend Nethmi is going to buy this. She buys every Kim Kardashian palette and she rocks the shit out of it so if you want to you know check out some looks with the KKW beauty products you definitely want to follow her also she's tan so that's always interesting because I always wonder with Kim's products if they're actually tan girl friendly so yeah that's pretty cool I don't hate it I think that her blushes actually look really pretty the tones look really nice but I just don't want to pay money for Kim Kardashian makeup right now so I will be passing on that and ColourPop just announced their holiday collection, of course. I don't know how they do this, but they literally announce a launch on Tuesday, and then by Thursday you can buy the makeup, which is insanely awesome, I guess, in a weird way. Like, I love it because, hey, guess what? Like, I don't have to wait for a makeup launch, which is nice. 
So they're doing an eyeshadow palette called Chasing the Rainbow Eyeshadow Palette. I don't love the palette, but I don't think it's like the worst. It's just like it looks like every other ColourPop palette. I feel like it reminds me of the My Little Pony palette quite a bit because it has like the blues, the neutrals, the pinks, the purple. So it reminds me a little bit of that particular palette. Plus it's 20 bucks, so oh my gosh, like what's up with that? The Dream Sequence Highlighter Palette, I definitely don't want. I have so many highlighters. I am on like a highlighter no-buy for sure. And then they have some Super Shock highlighters. I think you can get those separately, so those are $8. Double Rainbow Super Shock Shadow Kit. I haven't seen that. I didn't see that. I saw they did swatch party videos, and I didn't see that. The Super Shock Shadow, then there's Loose Shadows. Those are $5 each. The packaging is sickening, by the way. Dream Baby Dream Lippy Stick Kit. I saw swatches of that. All the shades were pretty ordinary it's not something I'm going after six lippy sticks um, that you can get for five dollars each flying colors lip vault eighty dollars contains 14 lip products seven glosses two satins three mattes and two metallics saw the shade dreamaholic it's beautiful I really want to get that just for fun and then there was a periwinkle blue liquid lipstick I kind of want that just to have for fun and then the eight Jelly Much shadows are $8 each. I don't think I saw swatches of those. Um, maybe I did. I don't know. Not really interested in that formula. And then the nine Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitters. Um, there's one shade that was really pretty. There's also a shade called Puffin. So I wonder how Mel feels about that. I wonder if she'll buy that. And there's also a limited edition makeup bag which is ten dollars which i won't buy it's so tiny like i don't know what the fuck you're gonna fit in there so then there's the makeup bag called this is not a dream um the holiday pr set is three hundred dollars holy shit and the holiday collection bundle is 290 so probably with the box and without a box and these all launch november 15th you can use code trend mood to get 20 percent off palettes plus new launchers okay so you can get use code trend mood to get 20% off, but new launches are excluded, but the code will work on other items. So I'm guessing if there's collections like from previous that you want to get 20% off on, you could probably place one big order. So yeah, I'm going to go for the gloss, potentially that periwinkle liquid lipstick, and then a maybe the, the eyeshadow palette just so I can have it, plus the packaging is beautiful. So I feel like it's kind of like an iconic makeup moment, so I might I might do it. I just love, yeah, I just love how insanely big this collection is. I kind of wish they had done some face products, like some blushes. I think that would have been really fun if they did some powder blush highlighter kits. Like, I would have really appreciated that. But it's only November, so most likely they will have another holiday collection launch, is my prediction. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Also, I predict that there will at least be two or three more ColourPop eyeshadow palettes coming out before the end of 2018. So let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. So Too Faced is gearing up to launch their pretty rich collection. Looks like it'll launch November 29th and then December 2nd at Ulta and Sephora. So this is another big collection. They have their Diamond Light Highlighting Brush Diamond Light for $30. Holy shit. Then there is a Diamond Light Highlighter. There's two new shades. There was one that they originally came out with and now they've added two shades. Not going to buy. For $34. Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lips for $21. Not interested. Better Than Sex and Diamonds Mascara for $24. Pretty Rich Diamond Eyeshadow Palette for $49. This is 16 Ultra Rich. Highly pigmented shades, four glitters, four mattes, and eight shimmers. Uh, pressed gel glitter formula elevates any eyeshadow look. Can be layered for a multifaceted effect. Number six, Glow Job Radiance Boosting Glitter Face Mask. Glow Job for $42. Sparkling Disco Glow Radiance Boosting Glitter Peel Off Mask infused with dazzling diamond powder. So you can be a diamond too. I swear, every time I'm like Too Faced gets in my good books they have to do something to shit all over it <laughs> this collection is one i'm really not interested in 
I also feel like I need to tell you guys this. So I have a shit list of brands and with everything that happened, like with the drama and this and that, um, I feel like it's never going to end. So the stance I've decided to take on my freaking channel is I'm going to buy whatever the fuck I want. And you can buy whatever the fuck you want. And if we disagree, that's fine. If you guys see something on my channel that you don't like, get over it. It's just makeup. Like, um, I used to get so upset when I saw people talking about Morphe and they got like PR packages. And I'm like, Morphe is such a shitty brand. And for a long time, I was on my soapbox about it, but nobody cared. Guess what? Nobody cares. Like, nobody cares. I am not going to change anyone's mind, so I decided to adopt the same, you know, uh, principle here on my channel. Um, I'm just going to buy whatever I like. If it happens to be from a brand that's not really the most ethical or the greatest brand in the world, guess what? There's probably a brand out there that you like that I think is shitty too. But we're not going to fight about it, okay? So that's my stance. It's my disclaimer forever until I change my mind again about something else. But I bought some Morphe products recently. I'm wearing a Morphe liquid lipstick right now in the shade Hot Stuff, and I freaking love it. It is what it is, you know? So you're probably going to see some brands you don't like on my channel. That's okay. Now, Too Faced, this collection is pretty fucking lame, but do I hate Too Faced? No. Am I going to tell you to boycott Too Faced? No. It is what it is, you know? They're going to launch it whether I like it or not. Same goes for Miss Kylie who's launching her holiday collection. Oh my God, November 19th, mark your calendars, get excited. There's so much happening. Baby, it's cold outside, eight piece mini lip collection. Who doesn't need that for metallic lipsticks? Chill baby eyeshadow, um, Kissmas matte lip kit, three pressed powder, I don't know, blushes, whatever, four piece liquid lipstick set, um, two super glitter glosses, three cream shadows, uh, two ultra glows, whatever the fuck that is. She's got a lineup. Everybody is loving the Periwinkle packaging. I don't blame you guys, but I don't know. The thing, I think the thing that bothers me the most about Kardashian makeup, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure Georgia corrected me when I mentioned this, that I thought like it was alleged that ColourPop and Kylie and KKW are all made in the same factory, but I believe there is evidence of that. The parent company for all three of those companies is the same. So essentially, if you look at Kylie's products long enough and you look at the ColourPop website or you're a frequent shopper of ColourPop, you will see the similarities. Even the unit cartons are very similar. It's just the shades are changed up. The packaging is different colors, but the actual cartons themselves are very, very similar. So the part that really pisses me off about KKW and Kylie is that you're paying more money just because it's something Kardashian to make up for that name. So the other day I was talking to one of my friends. I'm like, hey, if you want something from KKW, I get it, but try and look for something in the ColourPop range that seems similar because you're going to save a buck ton of money. That's all it comes down to. So just wanted to address that as well for you guys in case that's something you didn't know about. Um, it has been confirmed that they are all made in the same place. So you're essentially just paying more so Kim can have more butt implants, probably. Okay, here's one. I was like, oh, Tarte, like look at you, girl. Like, oh my goodness. And you swatched the palettes on three different skin tones. Look at you go. Oh my goodness. So the swatches of the new Tardis Pro Remix palette, which is the Amazonian Clay palette for $49, includes 20 shades inspired by nature. Um, what? Some weird shit. Spin Inspiration. Okay, that's the names of the shadows. And there are six fin mm, finishes, mattes, lusters, metallic, dual chrome shimmer, and floating glitter. Which ones are floating glitters? Some of these shades are gorgeous, I'm not going to lie, but when they released the swatch picture, I was looking at it and I was like, this palette reminds me of the Magic palette by Juvia's Place, like the green, the purple, that yellow, like some of the shades really remind me of the vibrant shades in the Juvia's palette, so I'm like, mm, no, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass, so yeah, I'm not going to buy this, but 
I'm glad Tarte tried something new. Like, that's kind of nice, right? That they're branching out. And I know there's people that are diehard Tarte fans, so it's nice to see them getting something just to, like, you know, just for their solidarity to the brand. Like, good for them. They have some color now. Let's let's go, Tarte. Okay, so um, Way relaunched their four perfumes. These look gorgeous. I really want to smell all of these, but I don't think my Sephora inside JCPenney carries Way. There's the shade North Bondi, Melrose Place, Rue Saint Henri, and Mercer Street. <laughs> yeah, sounds yummy. I don't need any perfumes. I'm also on a perfume no buy, in case you didn't know. Now you do. <laughs> but those look gorgeous. I do like Jen Atkins. I do follow her on Instagram. She's pretty cool lady boss that's really killing it. So good for her. Okay, I don't think I've talked about this palette in a while I buy it, but I did put it in launches I feel personally attacked by um, with makeup struggles. If you guys haven't seen that video, I don't know why, so you better watch it. I will link it up in the cards. Go ahead and watch it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. You guys, 2018... This is like a recap video. 2018 for YouTube was lit. Like, I hit 2K. I was so excited about that. I never thought I would hit 2K. I made some YouTube friends, which is so exciting. I got to be on the Half Cousins podcast. I got to collab with some bomb-ass creators, including, like, Lacey, Kat, Alyssa Gold. I, I'm blanking right now because I'm freaking out, makeup struggles, and I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve, so get excited. But yeah, it's been a cool year as far as YouTube goes, so I'm very excited for myself. But anyway, back to this. This is a James Charles X Morphe collab. I feel like there's mixed reviews on this one. I feel like the fact that it's a pressed pigment is telling me I don't need it. It's got like this whole rainbow situation. Somebody else also told me, very smart of them, that they had the color rain pressed pigments and I was like, guess what, me too, and I haven't touched them. Okay, I've touched two shades, but I haven't touched more than two, so clearly I don't need the James Charles palette. I just made up my mind for sure because I was like, but if it comes to all time, I, no, I'm not gonna buy it. $39. Let me know if you guys bought this palette. I saw Rich Lux and his friend review it. They seem to really like it. I get it. They're excited. It's a boy in makeup. It always is going to cause a stir. Is Morphe doing it for the right reasons? I don't know. I, they're fucking shady, okay? They're still fucking shady. I'm wearing their liquid lipstick, but they're shady as hell. So I'm just happy that the community is making moves, but that's all I got. <laughs> okay, so Nikki Tutorials. Can it be a collaboration or maybe her own brand? Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Moving on. Oh boy. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I also talked about this in my video with Makeup Struggles, and it is the new Makeup Geek Holiday Collection. It's called Stroke of Midnight. I'm really confused because the Stroke of Midnight palette looks a lot like this other green palette that she has on her website, and I actually like the other one better because it has more green shades. It's all very confusing. She has like a bunch of palettes on her website. Um, they look cool, but again, like I said in that video, they went on sale, so I probably wouldn't buy them until I see them on sale again. Just like a pro tip for you guys in case you're, you know, eyeing any of those palettes. MAC announced their fifth collab with Patrick Starr. Again, another big collection. It's called the Sleigh Ride Collection. I like the packaging. Everything else is lame AF. He's got he's got three lipsticks for eighteen fifty, um, four or five glosses for seventeen dollars. There's two I've seen pictures of, so we'll go with two. Smoky Sleigh and Oh, oh Holy Eyes for thirty three dollars. Twenty three dollar pigments, mineralized skin finish for forty two dollars, and then his pa Patrick setting powder for thirty nine fifty. All launched December sixth. I'm going to go ahead and pass on the entire thing. I uh, I don't know. I used to be such a diehard for Max holiday collections, but that feeling has passed. Thank God. So I won't buy any of these. This collection, you guys, I really want this. <laughs> I might just get it if it comes to Ulta, which I think it will. It's the Dose of Colors Mickey Mouse collab for Mickey turning 90. Now, 
don't worry. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about Mickey Mouse. Let me tell you. But I love the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes. And this one, it might look boring. But let me tell you, those shimmers, they pack a punch, okay? Because I was wearing their shimmers in my Makeup Struggles collab. And you guys, like, lost your shit when you saw Dirty Money from the Friendcation palette. So I have a little soft spot in, like, here somewhere for the Dose of Colors eyeshadows, and I might pick that up because it looks good. Okay, here is another holiday launch. Oh my god. So Dominique Cosmetics is coming out with the Berries and Cream Collection. I'm totally buying this. I'm 90% I'm sure I'm buying this because I love her formula. I'm wearing the Latte palette on my eyes today. You guys, the hype is real with her, okay? She might have launched like a busted ass lemonade palette and fixed it all in the end, but her latte palette is bomb. And so you can get the eyeshadow palette for $44, liquid lipstick for $18. There's two shades, creamy pink and plumberry. Not very interested in the liquid lipsticks, but all of this will launch November 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I really want to just wait until it comes on Sephora's website, but I also feel like the freak of nature in me will just buy it on the day of launch. So Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands and they're doing like a holiday collection. They're doing metallic lights pearl liquid eyeshadows. There's like three or four of those for $10.99. Metallic light foil eyeliner pencils for $7.99. These are what actually really caught my eye. I've really been into colorful eyeliners lately. I picked up a bunch during the Sephora sale. If you didn't see my haul, I will link it up there for you. It's Pretty freaking epic, but I bought a lot of eyeliners, and I really like the Marc Jacobs one I got so far. And so these ones just look like a fun, cheaper dupe. And so, yeah, I kind of have my eye on it, but I'd like to see them in store and not buy them online. Usually the Walmart near my house is pretty good about stocking Milani, so we will see about that. Can somebody please explain to me why Trend Mood won't post anything else, but she will post key collabs? Like, nobody fucking cares. I just have to tell you guys this about Key. I have three pairs of Key sunglasses. It's because I love Desi Perkins so much. I bought um, two pairs of the high keys when she first launched them, and then I bought the black fades. And the quality of those glasses for the price you're paying is sucks. The quality sucks. I'm so sorry. $60 down the drain times three. I could have bought a pair of Ray-Bans. I have a pair of Ray-Bans, and they lasted so much better I just not a fan. Not a fan of Key. I think it's overhyped. The Jacqueline Hill collection looks bougie AF. And I. Listen, if you want to buy overpriced sunglasses, I'm not going to judge you. I promise you. But as your friend, as your friend, as somebody that took one for the team, I just want to let you know I've already spent the money. I don't think they're good. If you want to spend the money, go right ahead. But if you want to listen to your friend Karen, you're going to thank me later, okay? We're moving on. <laughs> okay, NYX is coming out with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. These, they, they claim this is a lightweight matte formula, full coverage with a finish that lasts for up to 24 hours. There's going to be 24 shades at $8.49. Great, November 23rd at Ulta. La -di -da, -di da I didn't want to try the foundation and I don't want to try the concealer. I have so many concealers right now. As I'm making a list of things I'm on a no buy on, I'm also on a concealer no buy. My favorite concealer probably of all time is the Naked Skin Concealer by, um, I was going to say Sephora, by Urban Decay. And I recently picked some of those up on sale because they went on sale during the Sephora 21 days of something. So... Not the Sephora, during one of those Sephora Weekly Wow scam things. So I picked up a few of those as backups. Okay guys, so the brand Zoeva also launched their holiday collection. This is called the Spice of Life collection. There's a brush set, eyeshadow palette, Voyager eyeshadow palette, cheek palette, and a makeup bag. This collection looks gorgeous. I love the packaging. The thing with Zoeva is it's very, like, natural kind of makeup. So I don't think these eyeshadow palettes are very high impact. They're very um, soft, so you can, like, keep layering them on. I actually bought one of their sets of eyeshadow palettes because I was so curious to try it. But I literally sold it on my Poshmark because those eyeshadow palettes just sat in my collection. 
I used one of the eyeshadow palettes and the other two were never used. So I decided, you know what, it was time to just go, just let it go because I was never going to go back. So I am going to Europe. I'll be in France in 2019. And I believe they sell Zoeva in France. If you guys are from France, can you let me know? And so I want to try and swatch more products there. And I'm really curious about their brushes. So hopefully I'll have some money to buy some brushes from Zoeva. That's all I'm interested in right now. So the Certified Palette, I don't know how Certified made it onto Trend Mood. Because Trend Mood is more mainstream and Certified is like a indie brand from the UK, which is cool. I love some of their palettes. I actually have one of their palettes. It's right here. Here it is. Ugh. Again, another gorgeous untouched palette in the collection of Karen Harris. This is why I need to go on a no buy year because I literally have enough palettes that I haven't reviewed for you guys yet that I could actually survive a whole year without buying new palettes. But Certify is coming out with the palette, the Affinity palette, 32 pounds, 18 shades. The layout is exactly the same as this palette, which is called the Tropic Wonders palette. I believe this is their first palette that they launched. And I, um, yeah, I think this is a beautiful palette, but it reminds me so much of the Fall Fusion palette by Blush Tribe. And I recently found out that the owner of Blush Tribe and the owner of Certify are sisters, which totally makes sense because you can see so many similarities in the way they run their businesses. I hope that doesn't end up biting them in the ass in the end. It feels like, um, you know, there's a lot of indie brands out there. There's a lot of competition. I feel like they've figured out the formula to success. And I hope it continues for them. But yeah, I, I feel like that's going to be so tough to have a sibling in the same industry. But also almost competing with you at the same time. So I don't know. That's my opinion on that. Okay, so Jeffree Star Holiday Collection, you guys, I'm here for it. That Alien palette, as soon as he said it's a blood sugar formula, I was like... So I bought it on Beautylish, but I don't know when it's going to ship. I haven't seen anyone talk about it on YouTube yet, but again, I don't think a lot of people I watch like Jeffree Star, so it's probably not going to happen. I'm not going to seek it out. I want to like have an authentic... Um, review for you guys. So I'm excited to get it. And I also picked up one of the liquid lipstick shades. I'm so excited. Karma is a warm army green. So outside my comfort zone, but I still feel like I can pull it off. So we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, you know, you'll find it on my Poshmark. <laughs> so yeah, I just really thought this palette was cool. He had a whole bunch of green shades, which I don't think it's like completely different for the current market, but I love the blood, blood sugar formula. So if that formula is the same, I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with that palette. So that is my thought on that. Sigma Beauty collabed with um, Beauty Bird, who is a content creator. 18 new shades, two highlight shades. I thought the whole thing was kind of boring. I actually really thought the Sigma Viper collection looked really cool. So yeah, if I had a choice, I'd probably buy the Viper collection. But I'm actually going to buy neither collection, so snaps for that. Lawless Beauty is coming out with their first eyeshadow palette. I think I talked about this on the Makeup Struggles video as well, but this is coming out December 1st, and I heard Samantha March talk about this in her Will I Buy It video today, and I have to agree with her. It's one of those palettes that somebody's gonna love. I don't need this personally in my collection, but it's a great staple palette. The only thing is I feel like it is going to be quite a high price item because Lawless Beauty is pretty spendy. So I'm with Samantha when she says I think it might be like a $60, $50, dollars palette for sure. That's, that's my guess. So Kylie Cosmetics came out with a new glossy formula. It is a, I don't know, extra sparkly. So she's got like seven shades. I love the packaging. It's really, really cute. Kylie glosses are actually... One of the products I can stand from her brand, but I only bought the three that she originally launched and I haven't bought any since, nor have I had any reason to. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Looks cool, I guess. I don't want it, but you know, I'm sure there's a million people out there that do. Here's something I'm so excited for. Oh my gosh. Sol de Janeiro is coming out with the Coco Cabana Cream. Oil in water gel cream transforms dry dehydrated skin 
right here into your softest, bounciest, most luscious skin. 72 hours of skin hugging hydration with the moisture attracting cocoa sugar blend. Glides in and melts in for dewy, soft, touchable skin. I just want to buy this. Like, I don't. I could fucking eat it for all I care. I could just stare at it. The packaging is cute. It's going to be $32. It's going to be overpriced as fuck. Oh, sorry. It's $45. It's going to be overpriced as fuck. But that's okay. I still want it. Oh my god, I want it. It's, I just, I just know it's going to be good. I just, I just know. Okay, NARS. Surprise! NARS is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette and it will be available November 29th. This guy reminds me of the one they came out with last year. Was it called the Wanted? I like how the shadows are more like pinky toned, so it's a little bit different for NARS, but I don't love the NARS eyeshadow formula. I never really have. Plus, this palette's probably gonna be about $50 to $60, so I'm definitely gonna hard pass on that. Okay guys, here is another thing I totally have my eye on. I might use one of those um, Sephora coupons if we get one for the holidays, but Tom Ford just came out with a bunch of new quads. There's so many beautiful shades and they are $88 a piece. There is one I saw, yeah, this purpley one looked gorgeous. There's also one with a shade of green in it that looked really, really beautiful on Sephora's website. So I have both of those like marked as favorites on my Sephora app and I'm totally planning on pouncing on those when I have a chance or when it's affordable. Okay guys, that is everything for this Will I Buy it video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the community playlist featuring everyone else's Will I Buy it videos. Thank you so much for watching mine and I will catch you guys in my next video which should be up the day after tomorrow because I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me usually at 7 a.m. central so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye